Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Ships of Naval Action. Today we are taking a look at a ship that serves on the Great Lakes. This is the USS Niagara, named after the Niagara River, I believe it's the Niagara River, or the Niagara Falls, something like that. But Niagara, she was constructed in 1812 to uh, protect American coasts like on Lake Erie. 1812, America. Huh, those dates do kind of sound familiar, don't they? Well, she was ordered 31st of December 1812, so, you know, she was, during the War of 1812, she was ordered, which uh, did lead to some uh, big side effect, let's say. So, uh, the Niagara, being built in 1812, there was a war going on, and uh, the British were, the British, yeah, the British were busy attacking, being a general pain in the ass. So the Americans were like, we need ships, we need them now. So using green wood, which means good wood that hasn't been properly seasoned, very bad for shipbuilding, uh, they built Niagara and a few other vessels. And uh, she would um, take part in uh, the Battle of Lake Erie when uh, the time came. Uh, you had a certain very important fella, the Oliver Hazard Perry, or not the Oliver Hazard Perry, the man called Oliver Hazard Perry would be uh, the uh, man in charge of uh, a fleet of ships from America and uh, then Niagara was part of that fleet. So they would fight in the Battle of Lake Erie against the British. It was Lake Erie so it is just small ships. You didn't have any big ships of the line or anything. And uh, yeah, the Americans ended up winning the battle. Um, it was, of course, uh, a bit of a pain in the ass to get uh, the Niagara out uh, to uh, the fleet, or, or out, I want to say to sea, but out on the, uh, how do you say it, um, when it was built, it was hard to get it out on the water. There we go. Because uh, there was a uh, sandbar blocking uh, the bay which in which she was built. That sandbar was useful since it stopped the British from entering the bay. So the British couldn't raid and stop construction. However, uh, yeah, Niagara and uh, another ship, the Lawrence, had a draft too deep and couldn't uh, go over the sandbar. So uh, when they were constructed, this is before the Battle of Lake Erie, uh, they had to do something called kedging, which is basically using the anchor to drag yourself along so uh, yeah not ideal but you know it worked so uh, on the 10th of September in uh, 1813 that is when the Battle of Lake Erie would take part the only significant part of battle she would take part of and uh, the Americans they won the battle so um, that is her battle history. Not a lot. She would, however, have to be sunk. Uh, in 1820, she was a green ship, uh, so that means uh, not good wood. She was sunk for preservation. And uh, she would uh, exchange hands a couple of times as a sunken ship between uh, certain people. And uh, in 1913, she was uh, raised up and... Her keel was in good enough condition to be rebuilt, or those they fought, they fought. So, they started rebuilding her. They didn't have original part plans, which was a problem, but they started. But things kind of didn't go to plan. Uh, they restored her, launched on the 7th of June, with uh, new rigging, bass periods, some cannons. Um, but. Yeah, she, she didn't last too long. In uh, 1917, she was uh, docked and deteriorating. And uh, later she was transferred to the Niagara Foundation. Which was going to again restore it. However, 1929, Great Depression. Which means uh, she basically was left deteriorating for a good many years. Until basically uh the 80s uh, that's uh, when she was basically left rotting and uh, decaying which of course she was a green wood ship which means shit wasn't going well she was very quickly deteriorating 
1981, however, um, uh, they essentially got some movement to start uh, reconstructing uh, the Niagara. And in uh, 1986, this process would start uh, going on as a uh, Melbourne shipbuilder got uh, hired. Melbourne Smith got hired, my correction. And in uh, 1988, they started deconstructing the Niagara to then reconstruct her. And they basically scrapped everything except for a few non-structural parts and uh, rebuilt her. As a consequence of this rebuilding, with 95%, I'm just taking a number out of my ass, uh, with a huge amount being brand new construction material and in using modern techniques as well, there is a debate whether she is in fact a reconstruction or a, a replica or the original ship. Personally, I'm not going to go into that debate. End of story. So, you can visit her today, or you can play her in naval action. So in naval action, what is she? Well, she is a brig. She can carry 32 pound carronades, 20, 10 on each side, and 2 in the stern. She has a lot of firepower for her size. She is fast, she is sleek, and I mean, she is a brig, so she is decently. Agile, she has a decent amount of crew, she's a brig, so not frigate size, but she, you know, it's a solid little ship. Will she do amazing? Well, 32 pound carronades, you know, 20 of them, they do hurt, but it requires to get in close. Otherwise, you have, if I'm not wrong, 9 pound cannons, that doesn't hurt as much at all. So, I would use the Niagara personally, 32 pound carronades, get in, get in blasting. Do a lot of damage and use her speed because she is decently fast so i do hope you all enjoyed this quick video on the uss niagara be sure to leave a like subscribe and all that and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye